Um, why do so many Republicans dress like cartoon supervillains? And it's because it's what the maggot base craves. Now you can blame Roger Stone. On the right, they're playing how they're the um, they're playing um, the bad guys, and it's and they think it makes them popular. When in reality, nobody li really cares about them anyway. Now, now last week, or a couple weeks ago, after President Joe Biden's State of the Union address on Tuesday, um, of um of like the six or something that when he gave it, it was generally it was generally agreed across the media that Joe from Scranton had won the evening by master by masterfully baiting Republicans into showing their pathetic inbred asses. The second star of the night, however, was also indisputable. The brilliantly white wool coat with an alpaca for fur, um, with an alpaca fur trim that had the misfortune of being draped over the body of Representative Marjorie Trader Greene from Georgia, who basically is who uh, basically is a fucking ugly ass man in drag. Um, that's the photo right here. Um, so there you see, there you see Marjorie Trader Greene, um, 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 basically um, who's basically a drag queen. So you see that ugly ass bitch right there. Um, that's an ugly ass Neanderthal. Now um, look now look. It was a lovely coat, which I don't think it was, but it's a proxim but its proximity to such a repulsive person create created an unmistakable air of comic book super villainy. It served as a stark reminder that despite her classless and Ill an illiterate demeanor, Green is actually a wealthy heiress who spent her pre um a pre political life as a woman of leisure. She got compared to a Stephen King monster. It, um, a, gang a gangster's wife in a mob movie, and of course, a campy Disney villain. Now, also, they're com they compared her to, to um, Cruella de Vil, an insult, basically. Um, a, loss, e um, a loss, even though Green made the unusual choice of wearing a coat inside, all too many folks assumed that she must not know how she looked. She looked really fucking pathetic. Well, why is she wearing a white fur coat on the State of the Union address? This is what Seth Meyers, who's a comedian, asked on his late night comedy show. He went on to compare her to a Long Island dance mom about to get her final warning. But, of course, it's wiser to assume that Green exactly knew what she was doing and how she looked. Now, moreover, her ridiculously out-of-place outfit did exactly what it was meant to do. Get her a photo op on the front of every newspaper and website imaginable. Also intentional drawing scorn from people like Myers, which she ran, which she ran, which um, which she can then repackage as proof that she's the victim of the coastal elite, which she's anything but defined. Not defi It's basically she was defined not by money, which she has plenty of, but the fact that they know the difference between the Nazi police and cold and the cold tomato soup cam. Above all else, she wanted to look the part of the villain, and far from um, and far from being people who were unaware that they're the ba bad people, the maggot movement is about glorifying in their own self-image as political scoundrels. Now, Green is far from the only one. Despite their hatred of actual drag queens, the modern GLP has a robust interest in using costumes to create fantasy versions of themselves, and almost always, that fantasy is of someone who is a proud scallywag. Now, the current trend of Republicans dressing like Batman villains can be traced back to a dirty trickster and shameless Nixon fan, Roger Stone. And for instance, he dressed like the antagonist of a Charles Dickens novel um, for when he attended Donald Trump's um, inaugural. See this right here. Um, you see Roger Stone... Um, Who's a racist piece of shit anyway? Standing next to some to whatever bitch that he's standing next to. Um, now Trump is more married to his uh, is more married to his badly fitting suits than he has ever been to any of his wives. However, the White House staff understood the value of sinister costuming choices and used the body of, of melanoma Trump to often send the message of cackling evil. Um, And since then, the Bond villain a method of self-expression has started to really spread through the GOP. Like Representative George Santos of New York has a background as a drag queen, but the current fantasy he's serving is a, is a malevolent prep school student in an 80s movie. Are those even real prescription glasses? After successfully evading an FBI investigation for sex trafficking of minors, um, Representative pedophile Matt Gates of Florida's hair um, only seemed to grow taller, turning him into a dead ringer for Cesar Romero's version of the Joker. Representative Anna P um, Paulina Luna, who also had lied about um, lied about being Jewish, which her father was actually working with the Nazis, um, had fabricated um, had fabricated her background, and it was drawing com and was drawing Santos comparisons, and fa and it favors dram dramatic makeup paired with with the with the shiny menswear that looks very much like a cheap knockoff of any Lennox um, dominatrix darlings in the Sweet Dreams Are Made of These video. Um, if this was Rup if this was a RuPaul Drag Race. And the category with sinister visions, most of these folks would be strong competitors. But they are politicians in D.C., a town where a lot of people deliberately dress terribly so that the voters keep buying the humble servant of the people routine. Now, for Republicans, especially looking too stylish, has always been 
a dangerous proposition. Vanity is associated with um, with femini femininity, and feminine is the worst thing you can be in the GOP land. Even the women tend to dress more like a church lady than people with real money, which they re which they usually are, unless unless someone accused them of having heirs. But the but the but maggots but maggots are not interested in the traditional false humility of the American politicians. It's a movement dedicated to the darkest desires of American right wing. It's about dispensing entirely with pretensions of um. Um, of morality and giving themselves permission to be proud villains. Now, Trump, of course, started things by bragging about how good he is at getting away with crime, going from sexual assault to tax fraud. He was backed by an online army of trolls with Pepe the Frog avatars who relished their newfound freedom to use politics as cover to harass and abuse people. Now, the time by the time the pandemic rolled around, Republicans are so caught up in their, in their Trump-era self-image as vainglorious evildoers that they didn't even hesitate to reject masks, vaccines, or any measures to save human lives. Now the basic decency has been redefined as being woke. People like Cal, Cal Rittenhouse, like people like the murderer Cal Rittenhouse, and the fat fuck Alec Jones are held up as heroes when in reality they're frauds. One of the most popular pundits is a guy who calls himself Cat Turd, um, which is a pathetic name. More Republicans look their part, look the part of cartoon villains because that's what they turned themselves into. Now to a certain degree, I fucking get it. Playing the part of the villain can be thrilling. I basically I've been a, I've been I've long been a fan of goth and punk fashion, both of which get their glamour through transgression. The bad guys in movies are often way more fun than the heroes, from like like going from Ursula and the Little Mermaid to the characters and in a pretty much every Martin Scorsese film that I've ever seen. The satanic imagery in Sam Smith and Kim um um Petra, um Kim um Patrice's um Grammy performance. Um, Grammy performance drew fake outrage from the right, but most people watching it had a good time with the playful blasphemy. Even a shiny girl, even a shiny good girl like Taylor Swift likes to play likes to play at being bad occasionally. And the problem with Republicans, of course, is that they are is that they is that they're actually not playing. Their goals are straight evil, from for, from forcing women to have um from forcing women to give childbirth, to turning away political refugees, to slashing the retirement benefits of seniors, to decimating the seniors' health care, and what shifted. In the past few years, is a willingness of GOP leaders to wink knowingly about the morality of their own views. Now, sure, there's still plenty of effort to put into pretending that they that they want to do heinous things for good reasons. So we still have to sit through um, the disingenuous conservatives feigning that feigning the pro-life reasons for abortion bans, for instance. Now, but being led by shameless criminals like Trump, there's just a lot more trollish approach on the right, and one that treats evil like it's just an impish good time. And once tricking the Democrats because the main political goal, gleeful wickedness, became inevitable. Now, of course, many of them want the costuming to match their self-congratulatory attitude about being the worst. Now, if you like the video, you can get the video, like, and subscribe to my channel, RBW King. You can also hit the notification bell um, um, to, um, to be notified when a new video comes out. And if you, um, and you can leave a, um, let me know what you think. Leave, you can leave a comment. Um, also, um, if you want to support my work even further... You can donate to my Patreon link, which you can find in the about section of YouTube. And for just a little, it's a few bucks a video. Your donation can help go a long way, and thanks for listening.